Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer.com. Today on our 2015 Subaru Crosstrek XV, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the DrawTight Class 1 trailer hitch receiver. Now although our hitch is mostly visible, I do like how it contours the lines of the back of our Subaru and blends in pretty well. And there's also a benefit to being exposed like this. It's going to be a lot easier to use and it's going to be easier to get our accessories on and off. The end of our receiver tube is going to sit pretty much flush with the edge of our bumper and that's a good thing because we'll get plenty of clearance and that'll work well with any folding accessories. Now our hitch is going to have that inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. It's also going to have a half inch size pin hole. Now keep in mind it does not come included with a pin and clip but if you need one you can find it here at eTrailer.com going to have a loop style safety chain openings which are going to be big enough and open enough to use just about any size hook that we might have. Now as far as weight capacities go, our hitch is going to give us a 200 pound maximum gross tongue weight rating. That's going to be the amount of weight pushing down on our hitch. So this will work perfectly for those one and two bike racks. As far as the maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's going to be 2,000 pounds for the amount of weight pulling on our hitch. So that's the weight of your trailer plus anything you might have on it. Now it is always a good idea to check with your Subaru's owner's manual to make sure your car can pull that much weight. Now I'm going to give you a couple of measurements. These are going to help you when figuring out which hitch mounted accessories to use. From the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's about 14 inches. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, that's about two and a half inches. You're going to use that to figure out if any of your folding accessories can be stored in the upright position without contacting the bumper. Many of our customers actually said they had no problem installing the hitch themselves. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and put it on together now. To begin our installation, we're going to need to get underneath the back of our car and we're going to be removing three rubber plugs on each side of our frame rail. And here's what these rubber plugs look like. Now to get them out, you can just grab a flathead screwdriver, kind of just pry underneath them, and that'll pop them out. Now keep in mind, whatever we do to one side, we're going to do the same on the other. Now before we lower our exhaust, it's a good idea to use a support strap from side to side. And that'll help keep that exhaust up and it'll allow us to adjust it as necessary. Now we're going to have to remove four rubber exhaust hangers. Now to make it a little easier, I went ahead and sprayed these down with some lubricant or you can even use soap and water. And we'll take a pry bar, and just push it off the metal portion of our hanger. We'll have two more over here on the passenger side. Use that same method to get them off. And if we go closer to the front, we're going to have one more right here. Now we're going to place our hardware inside of the frame rail. Now the way we're going to do that is called the fish wire technique. So we'll take our fish wire with the coiled end. We're going to put this end through this smaller hole and feed it towards the front of the car. And we're going to want to pull it down through this larger hole. Now once we have it dropped down, what we're going to do is take one of the spacer blocks, put that over the end, and one of our carriage bolts and thread that on to the fish wire. We're going to push that hardware up into the frame rail. Pull the other end of our fish wire and that'll get it to drop through like that. That's going to be very similar for this hole 
which will be our other attachment point that'll hold the hitch up in place. Except this time it's called the reverse fish wire technique. So what we're gonna do is take the coil end of our other fish wire, spacer block, carriage bolt, and thread it on. Now we're gonna work that bolt up first in the block and drop it down just like that. Now before we put our hitch into place, this is a little trick that'll make it easier. Since this hitch requires these blocks to go in between the hitch and the frame rail, before we put our hitch up, I'm gonna tape these to the hitch, that way we don't have to worry about lining them up while we're holding the hitch above our head. Just line the holes up. I'm just gonna use some packing tape. and tape it to the hitch. Now, these blocks are only going to be used for the holes at the back of the hitch here. Now, with an extra set of hands, we can raise our hitch into position. We're gonna take our fish wires and feed them through the corresponding holes in the hitch. We're able to lift it up and over our muffler. Get our hardware dropped through. Now once it's through, we're going to remove one of the fish wires. And get the rest of our hardware in place. I'm gonna first put on a flat washer. A split lock washer. And finally, just your regular hex nut. Now we want to get one started on each side, that way the hitch will support itself while we work on the rest of the hardware. With all of our hardware in place and hand tight, now we can snug it down. Now using a torque wrench, we can torque our hardware down to the proper specification. And you can find that spec in your instructions. Now with everything torqued down, we can rehang our exhaust. The same way that we lowered it. Let's push our hangers over the metal portion. And with the exhaust supporting itself, we can then take our strap off. And that'll do it for our look at and our installation of the Draw Tight Class 1 Trailer Hitch Receiver on our 2015 Subaru Crosstrek XV.